so in this video now we are going to filter the data set we already know how to select a single column how to select a two columns in the data frame how to convert a series uh, panda series into a numpy array we also know how to fill the missing values in a single column by using the fill any method now we will go through how you can filter this complete data set 891 rows you have we already see that what is the train shape as we know the size of train is 891 rows and 12 columns let's say we just want to filter we want to see that so give me the data set from this complete data set where the sex is male and the age is between say 20 to 25 we don't want this this observation which is female we don't want this observation which is 38 this complete observe this complete row will be deleted from that data set so filtering is basically we mean to say based on the condition and the condition of us is sex is male and age is between 22 to 35 conditions can be single condition let's say just filter the data set and give me all those observations all those rows which has sex as male you can also say give all the observation where the survived is one this is also one filtering you can say that give me all the observations or the rows which have p class as three like this this is filtering so this is you can either filter on the basis of one condition or two condition or three condition you can use or condition and and condition so you can use the boolean operations as ever you want so i am just going through the basic uh, filtering for the filtering what you do just write train and then write loc this is called location at which location what location you are filtering it so you are writing the column name here so after the comma you write the column name and you are saying you want those sex in the data set where this sex is male so you get this panda series now but let's say you don't you not just want the sex column but you also want the survived column as well what you will write you will write like this so you have this list of two columns and you have the condition here but for writing this you have to use dot loc function now you have this data frame and these has all the rows and observations where the sex is male you don't have any observation which is female now if you just want to write another condition let's say so you have to write and and you write like this and you write here survived and you say that survived should be one so all the males who have survived this is basically saying this all the males who have survived you need this all the males who are survived these are one all males all who are survived let's say you want the ages of all those as well you will write the list of all the column sex survived and age you have this you want to know that what fear they have given you can just write here fear this is a very important filtering process you can just uh, play with this thing you write dot loc before comma you have to write the conditions you can write either one condition like this or you can write and condition and multiple conditions like this or you can choose to write or like this this is an or operator this is an and operator and after the comma you have to give the list of all the columns you need if you write just one column then that will be a panda series if you write more than one then that will be a panda data frame you can also choose to write uh, store this complete data set which is returned into a, another data frame like temp df is equal to this if you like do like this nothing will be shown but next if you write temp df it will show the complete data set now if you will write temp df dot head it will give you the first five rows like this so this is for the basic this is for the basic filtering you can play with it you can do a number of things uh, and play with the data set